Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. You get a move on. now, Arthur, please. So, you were saying? Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the other stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's Whoa. true. That bad Whoa! Whoa! Hold up! You see that wagon? Does it feel good to be back at it? Serving your country? I wouldn't go that far.
dear me, that don't These look good. These damn flies! Oh. I swear, they got it Come in on, for mister. me. You could try washing once Keep in a while. Keep your eyes open. No, oh, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. There's nothing more we can do here. I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Go right at the crossroads. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. Bear right again here. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Could drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are, selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to them. Don't even look them in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin. And we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea, Arsh. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out, and then tie them up. Got it. Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there?
the last one. Get him to the wagon. to the pile, Arthur. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so, I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about this. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm Sons of bitches come from! The Raiders make a lot of Alright, boys! We're putting you out of business! You about to come to the end! There's more coming up from those huts! Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Come on, Arthur. I'd rather not be here when our friends notice the shine's gone. Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah. 
Seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quiet. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move it. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're, I was going to say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that.
Damn it, Pearson. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're Arthur? telling me. Okay, thank you. Arthur? Fine, Micah. Good. I've been worried about you. I really have. Me? Why? Oh, you know, just the usual reasons. I'm here for you, brother. Hey, all good out here? I think so, but... Yeah. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver? Proceed, please. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. 
Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. Yep. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Oh, say it, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Hey, what about you? You can't speak. You're turned idiot. Right. Broke poor Mammy's heart. There, there, Fenton. There, there, don't get mad now. Are you kidding me? Who's driving who here? They built that real well, that's for sure. Back to it then, I guess. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. My brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. 
We are in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Yeah. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one, man. Yeah. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look at a gift horse in the mouth. But I see a gift horse in the mouth. My eyes. Oh, that's some strong smell. So Just keep them coming. coming. Don't be shy, boys. Don't be shy. <laughs> Mr. Grim won't be happy about this. And grab another bottle. gonna buy. Jump! We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! Oh, 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 no. oh, shit! Ah. It's the Lemoyne Raiders! Good job, Arthur. Now you got a problem! Damn bastards! They came to me! Shit! Come on, get up here! There's more to your right! 
see any more of them? I don't think so. Ha! Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Pull off the road here. All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career in... What was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter.
buy us something decent to eat, hmm? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Come on, then, you miserable bastards. How do you get wind of this, old man? we only been down here all five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch ah. outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. 
You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Inside. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! There's a whole lot of them back there. Well, nice going, Uncle. Most guarded wagon in goddamn history. How will I to know? Wait, you sons of bitches. Everyone, stay tight. You ain't getting away with this. You're going to ride, fellas. Come on. Yeah. Keep going. Y'all made a big mistake. Where the hell are we going? Getting out of here! What kind of dumb questions? Stay with him. Come on. Keep going. We're losing them. Come on. We need to lose them. Do not let them get away. You can move fast when you have to, can't you? Just quick. Get off the trail. Into the woods. Let's shake him and get back to camp. No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leading Cornwall's men to camp. All right. Yeah. Whoa. Let, let, let's hide in here. Quick. Easy. Go on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. All right. Just get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Ugh. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Oh, 
the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. Yeah, I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Give him help! Boys! For Christ's sake, behind these rocks. Keep it down. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right or my right. Yet. 
bastard! Get the hell off me! Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Ugh. This is a young man's game. I'm gonna lay you down! Uh oh! Clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hand. Still alive. Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Come on, get out of here. Every man split up. Come on, run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Can I help you there? Sure. Those are supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Everybody and everywhere there's troubles. Who are you? And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Ha! I'm coming through. On you go! Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. 
We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Whoa! Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. But head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Oh, no. Whoa. Yeah. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right, I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Whoa! Did good, girl. Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs, available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in? What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. This here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's uh, old faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly. So he hurt his leg, didn't you, boy? Amazing runner, though. He's up for sale for a decent price. The boss would probably sell him to you if you made the right offer. And this here is Old Father Time. <laughs> My favorite horse. His coat might be a little thin for them Saratoga winners, but, uh, bred right. He'll produce another winner. Just look at those balls. <laughs> Greaser, huh? <coughs> Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy Whoa now. there. Easy. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. 
Easy there, now. easy. Easy there. Easy. You're okay. Okay, boy. Good boy. Wait. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two! What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! More coming this way! Out of the fields! Clemens Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <clears throat> Easy. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Whoa. you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, 
I ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for him. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you? We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it, or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Put the man <laughs> down, gentlemen. Uh, 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 Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. You got some money for me, boy? I've seen your name in our legend. Ah, got some nerve on you. Ah. It, it's up in them hills. Mm. And in four? I think you'll like this one, Josiah. You ain't the one handing out the beating. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. Where the hell is he? Uh, uh, I'm gonna collect the note! Teamwork, my dear boy, teamwork. Here you go. Thank you.
old world took out and they're running round. Heard a voice, it told me settle down. With the moonlight as my guide and this feeling deep inside. Bye. 